And if I'm not mistaken, I'm almost positive, depending on how much gunpowder you put in, it actually will affect the weapon when you go to shoot this. So let's go and test this out and see if it works now. There we go. Dude, no shot. So if I go and, like, fill this completely, like I did before, I'm pretty sure this is going to bust the gun. I'm almost guaranteeing the fact that if you put too much in, it will actually affect the gun and how you can handle this thing. There it goes. Yeah, and I felt the... Dude, it splashed all the way over here. Holy crap. Does this game look gorgeous? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awakened Toast, here. And today, welcome to a brand new title on the channel known as Bootstrap Island. This is something that I had been waiting to go and cover for God knows how long, man. And now the game is officially here and able to be played on Steam, dude. I'm so excited because I had the chance to go and try this on the beta, but unfortunately enough, the demo version that I actually went and played only allowed you to go and get done with the first day. And after that, you really couldn't do anything else. So what I wanted to try and do is basically just get as far as I could within that demo, but unfortunately, they had a lot of locked items within it. So you weren't really able to go and like progress that far until obviously the official game decided to finally come out here. Ugh, let's just go and rip that bad boy off. But like you guys can see here, we do have a little health HUD. So we got our health, we got our thirst, and then obviously our hunger. Now if we go and crack this thing open, I'm hoping that we don't completely break the other... Oh, well, there goes the second coconut. And I spilt a lot of the milk, unfortunately. Is there anything that we can maybe eat from this as well? We actually might be able to get some of it out of there. But unfortunately, all of the milk is gone from my coconutties. So let's just go and eat some of this stuff as well. I've played a little bit of the game, so I have, like, a decent idea of, like, the actual concept of how all this works. As long as I can get my hunger filled, that is what I'm really concerned about. I just want to try to get all of that out of the way. Because I feel like it's not even really moving. I'm eating all this coconut, and it's doing nothing. It's just making me more thirsty. But another question I have, though, is can I go and scoop the water with the coconut to see if I can maybe fill up my health that way? Or fill up my thirst? Oh, dude, unfortunate. Unfortunately, they do not let you fill up the coconut with water. But something I do have to mention is the fact that it has buoyancy within the game, which this is something I feel like I never really see VR titles really doing, and especially doing well, is having the water physics being so interactable within a title. Like, granted, you guys can see the floating hands here in the game, and it's definitely a little bit, you know... For me, it's a little bit immersion breaking. I definitely enjoy having the full body IK so I can see like my arm, my chest, and my entire body as the character. Because it just helps me get a lot more involved with the person that's within it, if that makes sense. Because the floating hands, like, they definitely work and they get by, but I've just always loved the full body IKs. I think they're awesome. But something I did realize as well loading into this game is the fact that the spawn points, they actually change depending on your playthrough. Because the last time, I'm pretty sure I spawned on that end of the beach, and I don't even remember seeing the ship. It might have been there. I can't remember. I didn't check. But I know for a fact I'm in a different zone here. But let's just go and try to get our thirst up as much as we can off of this. And we'll just rip off all these edges for the stupid coconut. If I can, please. Can I rip you? Get off my coconut. Oh, man. I'm trying to rip it. Man, you really got to put some force behind that thing to get it working. Okay. And then we're just going to crack this bad boy open. And now it's survival time. Give me all the beauty. Wait, did I just waste all the milk? Okay, um, I may have just wasted all that coconut. I don't think I got any of my thirst up. Okay, only problem is, though, is during the beta, I ended up going and trying to just, like, fight off the first night, and I didn't make it too far. I basically made it through the first night and the demo ended, but I didn't have, like, any weapons to defend myself with. So, this is going to be something that we learn as we go. So, just keep that in mind as we're going and playing this. But let's just go and sip up as much of this coconut as we can. We can even eat it this way. Wait, so I don't even have to necessarily, um, pick it out. I can just eat it by just holding it to my mouth. No shot. Okay. Well, that is a lot more helpful than what I was doing before. Sweet. Okay, so... On that note, we should probably start building some things because your boy does not want to be murdered in the middle of the night. I assume since we're on a island, we should be alright for the most part on, like, this zone. There shouldn't be many, like, I guess creatures or enemies coming to kill us. But, uh, you know, I'm not gonna rule that out of existence because there's definitely a possibility of something coming to kill us on the first day. So it looks like we got some planks, we got some coconuts, but boys, just take a look 
at how gorgeous this game truly looks, man. This is seriously incredible. And, like, if this world is randomly generated every time, like, maybe just having, like, the same base world, but everything else, I am going to fall in love with this game. Because, like, this could be such a fun survival series thing where I could do a lot more storytelling with it compared to just, like, a live com. Because as many of you guys know, most of the content I create on this channel, I do a lot of, like, live reviews. So I'm basically just, like, playing live, giving my first impressions, and just kind of, like, enjoying the time as we try to play the game but uh you know obviously there's some people out there though that like the more full-fledged like storytelling ideas it's just i don't know it's a really cool concept to go and do and i'm definitely open to eventually doing content kind of like that but uh oh no oh my milk's filling okay well uh this is bad apparently it is making some scary noises and i don't know what that means um let's just hope to god that doesn't mean like we're about to die it looks like the waves are super strong over here though so i'm gonna go and just like try to walk over to this other island and see if we can maybe find something else we had some sticks on that end our thirst is looking all right it's not bad but uh it could definitely be better our hunger our thirst all that stuff man it would be nice to go and get that up but i am basically clueless in terms of like getting weapons and basically getting set up for the uh the early game within this this is kind of my my raw first impressions uh starting out here but oh what the frick are you what i thought you guys were birds okay this is bad this is very bad um can i hide somewhere because what do those things do i assume those things are evil because they are getting ready to basically consume me i think um yeah this is very bad i feel like there wasn't that many before and it's getting very dark and i don't have any Hey, you stay back. They're like bats almost. Can I hide in the water? Okay, maybe they can't see me in the... Oh, you're getting close. You st they're, they're circling me right now. They already know what's up. Can I like grab onto them and ride with them? Stay back. I will punch you. No, don't you dare. What is that sound? What is that sound? Why is it... Oh, no, it got very dark very quickly. It is pitch black. Um, And this is the first night... Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dying. I don't know why I just died too. Do we actually just- Oh my god! Okay, yeah, we're murdered. We are dead. On the first day. Um... So that definitely didn't go as well as I was planning, unfortunately. I got killed by dark water. What? What is dark water? Okay, so I have now realized... That this game is ruthless. It is merciless, and it will prey on your downfall. I also now know that you need to have a fire to survive the night. So luckily on this time around, we actually got to spawn right on the main island, which should allow us to go and find a good amount of wood and just get set up super, super early game here. Um, we do have a ton of coconuts that we can go and grab here as well, just to get our thirst and our hunger out of the way in the early game. So let's go and smack that on the rock. Let's just go and sip this up. Because your boy is a thirsty, thirsty man. All right, let's try to drink as much of the coconut as possible. Maybe even eat up some... Ooh, wait, is that... Is that crab? I want you. Oh, can I, like, chuck this at you? Come here, crab. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, ow. No grabbing crabs, not yet. Unless I can kill him with a rock. I want to eat some crab tonight, baby. I'm going to roast you over the fire. You're mine. <laughs> nice. It actually works that way. Okay, so we have a bunch of these little crabs just chilling over here, so you need to die. Come here, you stupid crab. All right? I need to make a fire and cook you tonight. Unless, can I just eat you? Ew, dude, look at him. We just, like, literally got Mr. Crab, and we're going to eat this man. Oh, no. Okay, so we are definitely not able to eat you yet. But we do have a rock over there, which is going to be nice for starting the fire, as long as we can find a second one to go and use beautiful so let's just go and throw that right over to that other side and we'll be coming back for those because we're going to need that to go and start the fire we'll also get some leaves i think this will be a very very good thing to add to the team but the only problem is is i don't know if we're actually able to have like an inventory i'm pretty sure we have to do everything barehanded which is going to make this a lot more complicated but luckily vr physics man this game allows you to actually work it this way so i should be able to hold this and bring it back we're gonna use these leaves as kind of like our i guess our igniter for our fire so we're gonna find as many sticks as possible bring them back over to this area and we're gonna just have a pile of these uh leaves 
to kind of be our starters for each of our fighters that we do here in the beginning days because we need to survive man we need to survive at least one day here and we got some sticks so let me go and grab you but we definitely need to get some thicker logs because unfortunately this is not going to be cooking for uh, far too long these things are going to like legit just cook so fast for our campfire we need to find like actual thick logs preferably ones that are kind of like boards because i remember back in the demo stuff like this is exactly what i'm looking for i need to grab you good sir and we should be able just to go and chuck you over oh what a throw okay we'll chuck the other stick over there too perfect dude that is the beauty of virtual reality man like there's just such a nice i don't know a nice feeling about being able to just interact with the environment the way you can and just the physics bro like i can go and place this board on top of this and you can notice oh wait did that just no is it gone in the sand forever okay well i lost the other board but what I was trying to get at is the fact that physics actually interact with the objects in the world. So if I go and use this stick, you can notice when I'm pressing down with my other hand, it's interacting with these objects, bro. This is just something that you don't really get to see within, like, flat screen games, if that makes sense. Um, so we got the big stick there. I think we lost the other one that we threw, unfortunately. I don't see it yet. But let's just go and grab these and get this set up really early. Um, can I just make, like, a little... I wonder if this will work. Okay, that is definitely not going to work. Um, okay, well, let's just go and start a little bit of a setup. I don't know how the fires work in this game. I assume the more that we got, uh, we're going to have a larger fire. I hope it's not just like a base thing that they do. Let's go and get some leaves. We got our rocks over here too, which is great. And we are definitely going to need that. That is not going to be enough wood to get us through the night though. There is no chance. So we need to go and grab some more and grab it quick. Um, I'm almost debating this first night. Maybe we just strictly focus on just surviving. Like, we just need to get by. I know it's probably a dumb idea to be, like, right in the open. <laughs> Especially on a beach. But I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna hope for the best. We don't have weapons. We don't have anything to really fight anything with. So, let's just hope to God that having a fire and cooking crab will be enough to keep the enemies away for a good amount of time. Can I, like, draw on the sand? Just draw an SOS and have someone come and save me. That would be incredible. But what I'm thinking is what we'll probably do is we'll get through the first night. And then basically at the break of dawn, I'm going to run to that pirate ship. And I want to see if we can find some pretty good loot there. I'm hoping that there won't be any other, like, pirates or anything. Because to my knowledge, I don't think there is, like, other NPCs. At least, that's what I think. But uh, I'm hoping there isn't other NPCs. I'm thinking it's just, like, environmental factors, like... You know, the birds and creatures and other things that can actually kill you. I don't know if there's actual enemy enemies yet. So, that's something I do need to keep in mind as we go and move forward. Because everything past the first day is new to me. I've only seen, like, some enemies back in the, the demo. And after that, everything else is just gone. Okay, let's see. Ooh, dude. Okay, yep, it's getting close to nighttime, so we gotta start this. So we got our leaves, we got this, we need to just go and get this started, and then we can use this pile of wood to help us out um, through the night. So I'm going to try my best to just go and throw that there, we'll keep the other pile just so we have a bunch of stuff to use eventually, and then we got our rocks, and we got our fire starters. Okay, so hopefully this won't spread all the way here, but we should be able to go and get my fire started. It is literally sunset already, and it feels like it's gone so fast. There we go. Sweetness, dude. Hopefully I can actually cook the crab. I don't know if it'll let me, but that would be great. So we got just a little tiny fire, but what I'll try and do... Maybe grab a few of these other sticks. Just maybe throw them right under. Oh, okay, that will work. I was hoping to get it a little bit more under there. But I love the fact they have it, like... Ooh, what are you? Wait, you stay back. Stay back. Is that a dog? Oh, okay, this is bad. Um, how am I supposed to fight that thing? Can I get a rock? Where's my rock? I might just have to beat him with a rock. And hopefully they don't fight in squads. That's the only thing that kind of scares me here. Because, uh, usually if there's one, they're gonna call their friends. And, uh, come to kill me. So let's see what we can do. I don't know if rocks will do anything against these guys. And from what it seems like, this game is ruthless. So, doggo, you stay back. Alright, you stop your barking. I think he's calling to his friends. Oh, yeah. This is bad, bad. Okay, is there anywhere... Oh, ooh, what the heck was that? What was that? Oh, I hate this so much. Dog, you stay back. 
I hear him running around me, but I don't see him. There's another one behind me. Where's he at? Don't you murder me. You stay back. I got this little fire, and I'm just going to hug it as much as I can. There's so many around me. Oh, this is awful. This is actually awful. I can't even see where my other, uh, my other, like, sticks are for the campfire. Are we through the night, please? Please tell me I made it through the night. Or at least a decent part of... Ooh, we got more dogs. Okay. You stay back, dogs. Stay back. We're gonna throw some more sticks on here to keep our keep our fire going. We got some more logs. We got so many dogs, dude. Okay, let's just go and chuck another one on here just to make sure it still cooks. You stay back. Bad dog! Big dog! Ooh. Dude, how are they not, like, scared of the fire? Maybe I just gotta get loud? Kinda like Lethal Company? Ooh, I'm a big man! I'm a big spooky man! And I got hands and a rock! Alright, and I'm gonna smack you with Coco Nuts! Okay, you better stay back! You better stay back, boy! Okay, you stay back! I'm just a survivor, looking to make it home! Ugh. Okay, my health is still good. We're at max health, it seems like. The dog tried to attack, but we can actually... We're pretty good with the animations. The animations seem to be a little bit forgiving with the way these dogs try to attack. So as long as I'm keeping an eye on them, they shouldn't try to attack. Until this guy goes! Ooh. Okay, please just run. I'm guessing once I survive the night time, these guys just run. They probably only hunt during the night. So that's one thing I can at least hope for and uh, look forward to! Oh my god. And they're just circling around me. Okay, you stop it. You, you're being a bad, bad boy. Bad boy. Oh, I wish I could just like throw this on a stick and use it as like an axe. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, get out of here, son. Day number two. I wish I could do two, but I'm on my Rift S, so I can't I can't show my cool fingies. But guys, we survived the first nights. And we are thirsty as all heck. Okay, so that's nice to know. Um, let me go and uh, grab some more coconuts. Okay, and we need to get through this as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Let's go and rip off all this stuff. And as early as the sun comes up, dude, we need to go and try to make it to that make it to that pirate ship. I think that's gonna be my number one. Ooh, what does that sound? What? Um That does not look good. The volcano just erupted. Does that mean I'm gonna die? Like, is there gonna be rocks that come flying down? I hear it, but I don't see it. Don't tell me I'm gonna die to, like, a volcanic rock. That'd be awful. Okay, and I spilt all of the drink that I had inside of the coconut. Oh my goodness, dude. We are, uh... I think saying that we're struggling is an understatement. This is a very, very rough beginning. I'm not gonna lie, but... Right off the rip, guys. We're gonna leave the other stuff here. I think we should be fine for the most part. If we had an inventory system, I would take the rocks with me, but it doesn't seem like... That is going to be the case in the slightest, but uh, hopefully on the way we can find some more sticks and stuff in case we do get caught in the nighttime, because that's definitely going to be a huge one. Can we break this open? Like, any way we can just... <gasps> you know what? I bet if I grabbed a rock, I bet I could smash it open. I didn't even think about that until now. Um, Rock, 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 rocks. Is there another one, please? There's another crab. No, okay. Well, I'm going to go and find another rock, because your boy needs to break this thing open. I assume if we just smack it, it should be fine. Right? You gotta imagine. Hopefully it's as simple as this. Unless I need a gun or, like, a key or something. But no, please just let this work. Come on! Come on! Did I get it? There we go! Okay, so it does work. Awesome. And then we just need to lift this up. Let's go and drop the rock. How do we... How do we get you open? Can we twist it? Come on, open! Please, is there other locks? What's in there? There's something decent in there. I can't tell what it is, though. Okay. Oh! Duh! I just have to lift this. <gasps> and we get a gun? Bro, can I holster it? Is there any way I can holster this weapon? Oh my goodness. This is actually ridiculous. Was this a canteen to fill with water? Or is this actually, like, powder? What is that? I have no clue what this is. Is this for, like, actually putting in the gunpowder? And then what? We got the bullets in there, too. Shut up. How does this work? Okay, so then we chuck it inside of here. Right? Dude, stop it. Is that how it works? I don't know how these things work. 
Let's try to roll the ball out and see if this works. Because I bet I probably have to go like this, right? So we go and chuck this in. Okay. That should be good. And then we chuck the ball in. Right? And then we should be able to pull this back. And fire. Ooh! Did I put in too much gunpowder? Did that, like, hurt me? Bro, there's no way they have it like that, right? I think I just broke my gun. Unless it just launched. Dude. Do they have that as a system in the game if you load too much gunpowder? Yo, what? Okay, I am... I am now so interested in how all this works. I need to do a lot of studying. I'm pretty sure I just like fried my gun by putting in too much gunpowder I, I think it literally exploded <laughs> like i didn't even think that was possible to do in vr this is like this is vr survival on steroids bro like no joke okay there we go that's how we're supposed to break this stuff that was beautiful now we should be able to get all the way up here give me a good amount of my thirst fill up nice and then we can go and get some of my hunger up too if if possible. I really should have cooked some of that crab. I think that would have been awesome. Um, dude, I don't know if we're gonna have time to make it all the way over to that freaking pirate ship, man. Ooh, is that a clam? Can I rip you open? Pry you open. Uh, come on, give me a pearl. Give me a pearl. Oh. Can I put a... Oh, dude, can I put a stick inside of its mouth to keep it open? Or can I just break it? There we go. Okay. No pearls inside of its mouth. I think that just helps get it open. Wow, dude. There's just so many features in the game that just make it so, so interesting. Like, I have no clue on how to do a lot of this stuff here just because, like, I haven't learned the game yet. But for the most part, this is just something that's exciting because it's, like, something completely new to me. And, like, there's so much to learn. Okay, so I think for this time around, though, I'm going to go and set up camp kind of right in this area. Can I... I wonder if this works. I want to test the physics. Can I, like, make a vertical campfire? Like, if I were to put this on perfectly? I'm really curious. So, if we were to go and stick it like this, and have it even... Bro, shut up! I have never seen VR, especially with physics this way, not have jank. And being able to do this. Bro, shut up. Okay, so it's a little bit tougher with this one, obviously. These ones work perfect. Like, actually perfectly. Okay, so it's just these other ones that I'm trying to fill. So maybe you just cross these on the bottom. Okay. No, I knocked it over! <laughs> there's no... There's no other feeling like this, man. It's so weird. To be able to do something that just feels so real to me. In VR like this, man. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, the fact I can accidentally make this stuff fall over because I'm just stupid and I'm not... You, like applying physics correctly like this is hilarious okay i'm gonna just throw that or throw away that idea okay we need to find two rocks because we're gonna need fire again and i assume we're gonna be facing some not so friendly friends coming in here any moment so we got all this stuff over here we got our rocks i kind of wish Ooh, we got a big freaking board like a two by four here um or four by four maybe what are those things called i don't know something like that okay can i go find a crab I need to find another crab because I want to cook him. Because I'm going to be a hungry boy. I need to find a crab. I need to find him stat before it gets to nighttime. Okay. Crab boy. I hear something running over here. Oh, here's the crabs. Okay. Okay. Oh, I just duplicated him. I get double crabs today. Oh! I'm going to get so many crabs today. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Check that out, boys. Now we have a ton of... Oh, what are you? Okay, that's bad, bad. That's very bad. Can I run? Is that the dog? Okay, we need to, like, get to the place and get there quick. Let's go and throw the crabs over by our sticks. Okay, come on. We gotta start this fire now. What are you? Okay, we're so dead. 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 I don't have leaves. I don't have leaves to get this started. No, this is so bad. This is so bad. It's like a big lizard, man. Um, okay. Do I have leaves? Any leaves? Any leaves? Okay, nope. No leaves, no leaves, no leaves. Where are the leaves? Where are the leaves? Where are the leaves? Where are the leaves? I don't have any leaves. I'm dead. I'm so dead. The night's gonna kill me. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. There's there's no leaves! 
Yeah, I'm dead. I, I accept my fate. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is where I die. Dude, no shot. And this is where I get murdered, boys, because I have no light. This is actually so terrifying. What a way to play a game, though. Like, basically, if it ever gets pitch dark, you're dead. You have to have light of some source to survive. Dude. I want to do more of this game and do, like, a storytelling series. This is so freaking cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be my experience on Bootstrap Island for the first time. This game is ruthless, man. It throws you right in the mix. You have nothing that tells you how to go and craft. Like, I can go to my settings right now, and there's nothing that tells me how to play the game. You just are left here to hopefully survive. This is such a cool way to do it, man. Throws you right in the mix. You have no idea what's coming. And if you get caught in the pitch darkness with no light, you're gone. It's done. You're over. There's nothing you can do. There's just something that's so entertaining to me about that, like, idea and concept. Because I feel like a lot of VR games, they cater towards the casualness. And they're, they're very, very simplistic and very straightforward. And they, they guide the players to a hand-holdy extent. And this game, just one of those that doesn't do it, man. Like, I actually have to hit this right to break this. There we go. Sweetness. Like, man, it's just, it's so cool. And even the attention to detail where I have to go and lift this little metal piece first to go and get the chest open. Like, I was wondering how to go and fix it. And sure enough, it's actually just so well thought out of actually applying the physics. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm almost positive, depending on how much gunpowder you put in, it actually will affect the weapon when you go to shoot this. So let's go and test this out and see if it works now. There we go. Dude, no shot. So if I go and, like, fill this completely... Like I did before, I'm pretty sure this is going to bust the gun. I mean, I didn't fill it up, like, completely this time. But, let's see how this does this time. And how far does it shoot? Um, how can we test this? Maybe the water? Yeah, let's go and see if we see a splash in the water. Oh, that's so sick. And now I want to see if it was just a fluke. If it actually breaks if you put in too much gunpowder. I'm almost positive this is actually, like, a full out... Yeah, it sounds like it's getting super deep. So I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing the fact that if you put too much in, it will actually affect the gun and how you can handle this thing. There it goes. Yeah, and I felt the... Dude, it splashed all the way over here. What? Dude. Now my gun's going to get rusty. What the freak balls? Dude, if they actually made it where if you had to pour out the water in the gun, that would have been unreal. Wait, it actually does look wet, though. What? Okay, does it get sand on it? Oh, my God. I just want to check every little thing in this game. Like, look at the reflections on the weapon. I'm pretty sure I busted it. Oh, I totally did. Unless, oh, since it's wet, I'm not able to probably shoot it because it probably can't get a spark. Right? Let's test it. I'm really curious. Let's throw this in. See if it works. Sure enough, since it landed in the water, I can't actually shoot it yet. So let me go and start a fire on this and see if I can dry it off with the fire. Like, if they actually thought of it as well thought out to the point where, like, weapons are affected by water damage in a survival game, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna gawk over this game like crazy. Okay, there we go. So we got a little kindling fire, right? Let's grab our weapon. Let's dry it off. Let's see. Ow. Oh, ow. That actually hurt me. Oh, I don't want to burn the gun. I just wanted to dry it. There we go, dude! Okay. So I want to see how much different this looks. So if I dip in the water, it's obviously wet. And if I hold it close to the fire, does it actually dry it off pretty, pretty quickly? Okay, it looks good. Yeah, I'm almost positive this is how it works. Dude. What a crazy freaking game. I have never seen survival like this in VR to this extent. Yeah, it's still not dried off. I need to go and dry it off more. 
So let's go hold it by the fire. See if we can like warm it up a little bit. I oh, whoa! <laughs> Yo, wait! Wait, 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 wait. They thought about this. I need to test this again to make sure that wasn't a fluke. The fire lit the gunpowder and launched the gun. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. There has never been another game that's done something like that. So if I drop the gunpowder in the fire, does that blow up? Well, on that, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video here on Bootstrap Island. If you guys didn't end up enjoying it and would like to see more content made on this game, I am so down to do a survival series where I just try to survive as long as I possibly can, like, inside the game and just learn as we go. Because there's just so much potential in this game and just so much learning that I have to do to, like, figure out how to survive within the world that it puts me in here, man. And it's just, I have never... In all my years of playing VR, seen something so well thought out and so cared for compared to this title, man. Like, this is insane. I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I would have no. died! Well, right no, no. here. No! <laughs> Armageddon! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences!